Okay, so we're getting more news on this, this murderous rampage this 18-year-old took. I guess one the teacher, one of the teachers that was killed in defending those kids, husband died from a heart attack, been married 30 years. Um, it just is, gets more and more heartbreaking. And it wasn't on lockdown. All schools should be in lockdown when they're in school. I don't understand. We need to, we need to really up our game with the schools. No children should have to die like this. Imagine the fear and terror in their little hearts before this happened. But anyway, let's get on with, I'm still on my juice diet. Uh, this is the green goodness one, kind of. I got it out of a book. It has, it, I did a half an apple, I did a half a pineapple, one mango, and I am allergic to banana. The only thing in this whole world I cannot eat, and I'm allergic to that, but I did put in just a couple tea, tablespoons, and I did a half a kiwi. So I'm going to try to chug this down. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but try. like I said, I'm trying to lose like 20 pounds. I've lost four, so I'm on my way. But this whole thing has just really gotten me. Let's all pray for our country, for the children, for Texas, and I can't put him up. But anyway, uh, we are, we're in a crisis. Uh, gun, gun control, I don't know how that's going to work. If anybody's really smart, let's figure this out and save our children. And that's all I want to do. So I know my sister and I were uh, involved in, not involved, we um, were really affected by Sandy Hook and we put up this remembrance wall for them for Christmas. I think I'll do that this year for these kids, but um, we need to remember them. And Amber was a huge advocate for children and uh, it really broke her heart. And I can see her up in heaven now and she's probably calling those little kids. Anyway, peace out everybody and stay cool.